Hey, the folks got a uh, several new knives here for you. Um, if you guys watched uh, my coverage on the Blade Show 2015, we paid a visit to uh, Ramon Chavez's uh, booth, and we got to check out some of these. Uh, these are the Megalodon by uh, Chavez American Made Knives. These are uh, originally designed by JB Stout. It's based on uh, Stout's uh, Megalodon model, custom model, and um, he's in a collaboration effort with uh, Ramon, uh, banged out these uh, these beautiful uh, Chavez American made Megalodons 325. 325 is the blade length. Um, yeah, so, you know, Ramon is just super cool and the wieners love him and apparently he loves the us guys too and uh, he was kind enough to send us uh, for each wiener a Megalodon to enjoy and to use and to fondle. Um, yeah, so I already did some coverage on it on Blade Show. I just wanted to share this really quick with you guys. I just got this today. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I already showed it to you. So there's that beautiful signature fuller that Stout is famous for. And this is kind of like a hybrid blade shape. It's kind of like, um, drop point Tonto. And I'll have a comparison knife. I'll show you the Spenza for a uh, size comparison. And you can see there. It focuses, yes. Ramon's uh, logo with uh, JB Stout's name on it, Chavez American Made Knives. So, this one is a frame lock folder, not a flipper. Just beautiful. It rides on a bearing system. The blade steel is S35VN, titanium slabs, full titanium slabs. Um, Titanium pocket clip. Standoffs. I'm not sure if these are Thai. They, they may well be. I know Ramon's been working with uh, Steve Kelly. They may well be. I'm not sure. Uh, just a beautiful knife design. Uh, so the wieners are going to each get one. Very smooth. You can deploy it with the middle finger. You can deploy it with your... Open it up with your thumb. Just... Just silky, silky smooth. Just, just beautiful. You know, uh, definitely smaller, uh, more pocketable. Uh, use a, a large Sebenza for a size comparison. So you can see there is considerably, not considerably, it's smaller. Definitely nice and pocketable. Um, it doesn't have Ramon's signature. Um, Skull pocket clip. I think I might have said that. I think I corrected it though. Some guys were saying at Blade Show that the 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 skull pocket clip was going to be made available for this knife, which of course it's not because the screws won't fit. Skull goes would go that way. But just really nice overall length is seven and a half inches. Um, yeah, pretty gorgeous. Really appreciate Ramon. Hooking up the wieners. My favorite way to deploy a uh, folder with a hole is, oh, this one's got a strong detent. These are all brand new. So they're not broken in because I accept delivery. I'm going to pick out which one is mine first. Well, Bora, I know. I could pick it. <laughs> they're all the same. But uh, definitely the distributed to the boys. Um, just want to say thank you to Ramon again. Really awesome. All right. So. Just some, uh, let's take a look at the knife. So, got this beautiful blade shape. I really love this blade shape. So if you guys uh, are not on um, Stout's books, I'm not on Stout bo Stout's books, and you don't want to pay secondary prices, this is a nice way to get a nice Stout knife made by Ramon Chavez Company, uh, American Made Knives. When I say company, it's Ramon and his sons, right? So Ramon, the only thing Ramon has done is I think he has the steel and the handles cut out. So that's farmed out somewhere. But then Ramon does the, him and his sons do assembly. They do the finishing on the blade, on the handles. They do the sharpening. They set the detent. So everything is pretty much done by Ramon and his sons. So just be aware of that, right? These go for four seventy five, and uh, you'll find them like in GP, GP, GP Knives. Is it GP Knives? You know? Your, your online uh, knife purveyors. You'll see them over there. Uh, I think 
uh, he's cranking them out. So you could also sign up for Ramon, um, uh, his website for uh, his, uh, you know, his uh, newsletters. Uh, it's always a good idea to also sign up for the Chavez Knife Club because you guys, Chavez Knife Club guys, get first dibs on uh, customs, custom knives. And I'm sure all these Chavez Club guys, Chavez Knife Club guys already got their Megalodons. They were the first ones to get it. So, very cool. So again, here's the blade. A little jimping on here, very nice, very smooth. Uh, your finger gets locked up on the handle, it's really nice. Um, <clears throat> I like how he uh, put these uh, cutouts over here to de uh, deploy the knife, to unlock the knife, as you can see, as you can hear, no lock stick at all. I mean, this is brand new. It's just well done. Uh, let's see the detent. I just spoke to Ramon, him and his son set the detents themselves. Um, let's see, what else we got? A little jimping on the butt end. Which is actually really well designed because um, my thumb falls right into the jimp over here on the blade and then my pinky locks in right there on the jimping over there. Good sized knife. I really like it. I really dig it. Um, yeah. What do you guys think? So... Yeah. I'll show you the lock up. Lock up is not super early, but it's early. Just a beautiful design on the blade. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I just love it. I love it. I, it's a it's a Tonto drop point. My favorite blade shape, personally, is a Tonto, and I love the fuller. I love the fuller. I love the shape of the deployment hole. Very nice. Yeah. So keep a lookout for these guys. Uh, sign up with your your GPI knives, your Blade HQ, and you know set it for a notification when they're available. They are coming. Um, oh, Ramon also told me some exciting news that this is the first collaboration by Chavez America and made knives with uh, knife makers, American knife makers that we know. There's also future endeavors with other famous knife makers that you guys know. So be on the lookout for that. And again, the best way to do that is just sign up for Ramon's newsletter. Uh, I would say follow him on Instagram, but Ramon is so busy cranking these out. He really he rarely posts some pictures every now and then he'll do one, but you know he's doing all the work, him and his son. So it's probably the newsletter is the best way or um, yeah. You can follow him on Instagram. But yeah, some some cool things coming up in the very near future with famous knife makers that you guys love, that we love, that I love, that's going to be being produced by Chavez American Made Knives. So be on the lookout for that. This is awesome. I mean, are you kidding me? For a first venture collab with a, a well-known knife maker, I couldn't believe how beautiful this knife was. This is gorgeous. This is beautiful. Just beautiful. These are 475, right? So, if you guys don't want to play this, pay the secondary for those customs, or you can't get in the books. Here's a nice way to get a beautiful knife designed by two knife makers. So here's the difference between Ramon and like a mid-tech company. Mid-tech companies, those guys aren't knife makers. Those are guys trained by somebody to make knives. This is a knife maker making the knives for another knife maker. So there's definitely something different there. Um, Ramon told me, assured me that uh, these are, he oversees production when him and his sons are working on it. So the quality assurance is on point. Um, so you can rest uh, easy and have confidence that these knives, when you get them, will be awesome, right? It's not going to be an unknown mid-tech company. Um, not that I'm saying some mid-tech companies are awesome, but, you know, this is hands-on by a, a, a well-known knife maker. So just take that into consideration. All right, guys? All right, so, uh, going to Williamsburg tonight, hang out with the Bandit. Going to drink some nice bourbon, talk about knives, won't be on camera. 
but that's how we roll. All right, guys, peace.